Welcome to Inside Monster Jam, powered by Lucas Oil, the official Monster Jam podcast. I'm Scott Jordan. The day is finally here. The Jordan household can celebrate. Our favorite truck has arrived to Monster Jam. Sparkle Smash is here and officially a part of Monster Jam. It is my pleasure to welcome the newly minted driver of Sparkle Smash, Kayla Blood, to the studio. Kayla, welcome to Inside Monster Jam. Great to have you. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. I see you're already decked oh, out. Uh, sure? I got mine as Sparkly, well. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> already is, supporting. Exactly. <laughs> this has been something um, I, I've been championing on this show and, and on, on our broadcast for, for years because it's, it's this major diecast toy. Everybody loves it. You know, boys, girls, moms, dads, and now you get to drive it. So let's talk about that initial uh, meeting or phone call, however you had, because I saw you in November. Yes. And you didn't know that you were driving it in November, correct? Correct. Okay, so let's go back to when you first found out you were going to be transitioning into this 12,000-pound unicorn. Yeah, so I want to say it was back in February. I got a phone call, and, um, you know, uh, he, my boss is talking to me about a truck change. And I, I didn't know what to think at first, you know, because I know me and Soldier Fortune, we we go well together. And being a veteran myself, you know, I, it means a lot to me to be able to pilot Soldier Fortune. And um, so I had no idea what he was about to say. But whenever he said Sparkle Smash, I, I'm not going to lie. I was like a little girl. I got really excited. Yeah. You know, Sparkle Smash is such a beautiful truck. It's a six-ton unicorn with a bold attitude. And I feel like that's just what I have is a bold attitude. And I feel like I can really make Sparkle Smash an amazing Monster Jam machine. Quite the transition for you. Uh, you have made Soldier Fortune your own. It's been your identity. And, and you have related to that as a veteran. Uh, so... You're going to transition into this beautiful truck, and I, I have yet to see it as of the airing of this show. It will, it will have debuted at World Finals in Los Angeles. We'll get our first look at it. Um, but but just talk about that transition for you. You have that same attitude, fierce competitor, you know, bold competitor, aggressive, uh, but just quite the difference for you. So talk a little bit about is, is anything going to change for you as far as driving style, attitude, or is it still Caleb Blood just – Caleb Blood Sparkle Smash now. No, man. You know, any Monster Jam truck that I am in is going to be the same fierce attitude, same driving aggression. That's just the way I like to drive and the way I like to be. And so um, no matter what Monster Jam machine I get inside of, I'm going to drive it like I know how and um, hopefully make it a successful Monster Jam truck and make a name for not only myself, but the truck. It's it, visually, I think it's it's going to be a jaw dropper when, when it comes out on the floor and you're going to have obviously these girls everywhere just loving this truck but when I was in Hartford Connecticut doing the live event I saw so many kids so many boys with with mm -hmm. sparkle smash I think this truck you know just just sort of translates to any fan just because it's so cool and it's a beautiful color the fact that you're already this figurehead this this pioneer for women in monster jam but now I think you're going to step that up quite a bit how does that make you feel that you're literally now going to be the embodiment of what a female superstar is. <laughs> it's pretty amazing, you know, just being a part of all of these strong females in Monster Jam is an honor in itself. And, um, you know, like you said, to be able to drive this truck, there's been so many fans that I've already seen throughout the year with the Sparkle Smash Monster Jam truck, including little boys. So it is definitely a hit and a fan favorite already. But, you know, I feel like sometimes um, thinking about the personalities of this unicorn Monster Jam truck, um, I feel like when I'm at pit party, sometimes I could literally be standing there beside my truck and someone will come up to me and say, are you the driver? I'm full gear, ready to go. Are you the driver? No way. I'm like, you know, wait till the show, wait right. till the event comes and I get out there and I show you what I can do. And I kind of feel like that's how everyone's going to be about the unicorn sparkle smash. They're going to underestimate us, but I'm here to tell you, as soon as I get out there, I'm going to drive just like I've driven in the past and sparkle smash is going to be a hit. <laughs> I, I say this on, on our broadcast all the time that you you can flat out beat anybody on any given night. Do you feel like you, you fly under the radar a little bit and, and are kind of under, underestimated? Well, you know, sometimes I do, but I do it to myself. Honestly, you know, I I know that I'm like a 50-50% chance. I hate to say this, but either I'm going to do really great or I'm going to go out there and not do so great. So, um, you know, I really think it's a, a mental men, a mentality that I have to be more, more aware of whenever I'm coming into an event, you know, you have to visualize actually winning. You can't visualize yourself going out there and racing and rolling over because each and every time I've done that, I've rolled over. 
But when I visualize myself and my competitor out there and I can visualize me winning and going over that line first, I do it. And that's such an amazing feeling. And it really is true. You know, your, your mind is going to believe what you want it to. So right. if you want to win, you got to tell yourself you're going to win no matter what the odds are, no matter if you're up against Ryan and Adam Anderson and uh, Camden, you know, I've had a stacked tour all yeah. year long. So it's been really awesome to compete against them. And, you know, if I win, I want to win fair and square. I want the challenge. So I don't want to be given a win and I don't plan on letting that happen. So I'm going to take the win whenever it's due. I like that. That fits with Sparkle Splash. We got more with Kayla Blood coming your way next on Inside Monster Jam, powered by Lucas Oil. Welcome back to Inside Monster Jam, powered by Lucas Oil. This week, we are discussing the debut of Sparkle Smash into Monster Jam with driver Kayla Blood. So this this uh, magical unicorn, a rare combination of talent and toughness mixed with colorful charisma that speaks Sparkle Smash, that speaks you. You have a busy week here. I see you're already wearing the, you know, very <laughs> shiny Sparkle Smash uh, crew shirt. So what, what do you have going on this week? Talk a little bit about your schedule. Um, so we're doing a little bit of media this week and I'm um, getting some video footage ready for um, the unveil of Sparkle Smash. And uh, I can tell you what, the excitement is building. Uh, we got to see the body. It's not quite painted just yet, but um, I have seen what the body is going to look like. And I know the paint scheme is just going to be absolutely amazing. The sparkly stars in it from the white to the purple to the blue, the mane and the tail and, you know, the horn on on Sparkle Smash is huge. So we'll have to see what happens to that horn whenever I roll over. It's, it's very detailed. <laughs> I, I've, I've seen some initial pictures. I know it's a sort of a collaboration between Monster Jam and Star Creations on the on the body. Yes. Um, I'm excited to see it. I'm going to be, you know, geeking out as a fanboy when I see it comes through, <laughs> when I see you driving it through the tunnel at SoFi Stadium. Um, let, let's, let's just kind of talk about World Finals here because you are – at the moment, uh, I would imagine going to compete in Soldier Fortune, but Sparkle Smash is debuting in LA at the Pit Party, correct? Anything you can tell us about what you're doing there that week? Well, high hopes that I will be competing at World Finals. Um, but yes, yeah, so whenever we are at World Finals, um, we are going to be competing in Soldier Fortune. But um, it, to be able to compete in Soldier Fortune at World Finals and um, that be my last drive in Soldier Fortune, that would be... Um, a dream come true to go out there and actually take a world finals championship. And, you know, it goes back to what I was saying. You got to tell your brain, tell it positive things. You're going to see positive things. But, um, yeah, that you know, to be able to go out there and do that in Soldier Fortune this last last year, the last two raw, that would be awesome. We're going to manifest that. Caleb Blood will win world finals <laughs> freestyle in Soldier Fortune. That would be a heck of a swan song for you yeah. there. I know this, uh, and we'll get to Soldier Fortune here in a little bit, but as far as your expectations in Sparkle Smash, you know, we, we the fans are a huge part of, of this, and they do fan scoring. And uh, you're going to have a truck out there that obviously means a lot to fans. Not that Soldier Fortune doesn't, because it does, yeah. but you're going to have all these these kids with their phones, yes. you know, that are going to be able to score you in freestyle. Do you think that that is an advantage for you now to be able to have this new truck that kids everywhere across the world love? I mean, I think it would be an advantage if I didn't know how to drive, but I'm going to go out there and I'm going to drive Sparkle Smash and we're going to go into racing just like we have in two wheel skills. You're going to see Sparkle Smash doing poppers and doing nose willies and moonwalks and all that fun stuff, you know, so we're going to work for our score and we're going to deserve that score that we get. Everybody works for it. And, and you know, you, you've always done a great job and you've always earned everything that you've gotten, but you know, a little familiarity doesn't hurt yes. uh, anybody when it comes to Monster Jam. Um, let's talk about basically driving a toy. When I was a kid, I had a Batmobile and I was a Batman fan and I would have given anything to drive the Batmobile. And that's still maybe something I can do. You know, we're going mm -hmm. to LA. I know there's a company that has a Batmobile. <laughs> I'm working on it. Um, you get to drive 12,000 pound unicorn truck. That is a toy. Does that, is that like a little dream for you to be able to go out and drive this life-size toy? I mean, every step in my career of Monster Jam has honestly been surreal. And this is just another chapter. You know, it's pretty cool, you know, to see the little girls' faces when they do see Spar uh, Sparkle Smash up close. It's going to be amazing. And just to be able to see it out on the track as well. Um, I think whenever they do see Sparkle Smash on the track, they're just going to be mind blown. And they're all going to love it. Everyone's going to love it. I mean, I've seen you at the pit party. You already have a huge line, but I don't know that they're going to have enough space out there for... <laughs> 
<laughs> the the amount of fans that are going to come see this truck and to see you. So you know how how is that going to be for you to have this massive following? And, and you're gonna you're gonna your hands gonna get tired having to draw your you write your name on all these Sparkle Smash toys. You get out there and you start signing and you start conversating and talking to people, and I really enjoy it. And there will be some events where I'm just not really believing in myself or I'm not very confident. And by the time I get through with Pit Party, I am so pumped up and so confident. And um, you know, people just have the nicest things to say, even when I go out there and I feel like I follow my face. They're always there to support me with nice things. And, um, you know, it's a very powerful thing to be a female and be driving a 12,000 pound monster jam truck, period. Yeah. So, um, you know, I'm ready for it. Bring it on, bring on the long lines. I'm here for you guys. And uh, I want to meet each and every one of our monster jam fans that help us thrive and keep us here. Kayla is notorious for doing push-ups on top of Soldier Fortune. Will she do it on Sparkle Smash? We will answer that question next on Inside Monster Jam, powered by Lucas Oil. Welcome back to Inside Monster Jam, powered by Lucas Oil. I'm Scott Jordan. I am joined this week by Sparkle Smash driver Kayla Blood. It's going to take me a minute to get used to that. Yeah. I'm used to Soldier <laughs> Fortune. Uh, Sparkle Smash, courageous, powerful, ready to smash the competition. That sort of embodies what you already do. Um, so not not much of a switch there for you. Let's talk about the truck itself. I mentioned that you do these push-ups in Soldier Fortune. Um, you've done it. Uh, freestyle wins, your great runs. It's become synonymous with you. Is that something you're going to be able to continue? Uh, <laughs> is there space on top of this truck for you to get out there and do push-ups on? I don't know. We'll have to give it a try. We'll have to practice. But, um, you know, we'll have to find that unique thing that um, kind of fits with Sparkle Smash. And I believe we'll find it. You know, I'm pretty notorious for getting out sometimes and doing cartwheels and round off. So we'll continue that. But, um, you know, I think it's always super cool after being successful in a run and landing a backflip and getting yeah. on top of the truck and doing push-ups. I thought that was awesome. So we'll have to find our little niche for Sparkle Smash. And you're going to have <laughs> a little more work inside the truck because obviously we've seen Toro loco with the smoke coming out we've seen lucas stabilizer with with, with the horn uh you're, you're gonna get some confetti yes. here so can you talk a little bit about mm -hmm. that it's gonna be an adjustment yeah so exciting thing is that the horn actually is gonna be a glitter cannon so we are gonna be able to shoot out glitter but, out okay. of the horn right. yes yeah, so i'm um, not really sure on the details just yet but that's the last that i've heard and i think that is super awesome i know my crew guys um, ready to have glitter everywhere. I think there is no better way to make Ryan Anderson mad than to go up to Son of a Digger and just shower it with glitter. Oh, I'm going to do it to all of them. <laughs> yeah. um, let's, let's talk about World Finals for you. The truck will debut in LA at SoFi Stadium at the pit party. Um, and we mentioned you, you know, hoping to compete in Soldier Fortune. As yes. of this airing, we will know if that's going to happen or mm -hmm. not. But um, I know Sparkle Smash will debut on the track at World Finals. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so um, really exciting. There's been talk about a stunt. So um, coming out in Sparkle Smash, we're going to come out with this big smash. And um, we don't know exactly what we're doing yet and okay. know the details just yet. But um, yeah, I'm excited to come get Sparkle Smash out there with a bang. And um, you guys definitely don't want to miss it. <laughs> and we, we have a, a live event debut because I know fans are going to say, where, when can we see Sparkle Smash in the summer? But you do have some summer events coming up that you will debut. Yes. Um, can you talk a little bit about where fans can possibly see Sparkle Smash this summer? Yes, absolutely. So you can see us at East Rutherford, MetLife Stadium. And um, to be able to go there and drive Sparkle Smash for the first time ever is pretty surreal because that stadium has definitely made some history for me and uh, my Monster Jam career. I was able to get my first stadium racing win there shortly after the COVID experience. And we were all coming back from um, all of that. And it was just an amazing thing to be able to get back to work, get back behind the wheel and let alone take the the racing win so i'm excited maybe we'll have some good luck and um you know it's going to be awesome being able to drive sparkle smash for the first time and down the road i also understand you're going to be competing at kansas city yes. and nashville as well so we go back to world final site from last year and a kind of full circle moment for you to go back with sparkle smash um, <laughs> my only other question about that is is there a way that i can come with you and just sit on top <laughs> of the truck and you know wait wave the flag is, is that can we I, find room at all? Yeah, I don't see why we'd have a problem with that. You might get some glitter on you. That's, I'll I'm, make sure I, to blow the cannon I, right I've on you. I've got three girls. That's, that's nothing new <laughs> for me. Uh, let, let's let's talk about saying goodbye to Soldier Fortune because this has been your your identity, your truck. You took it over and you've made it your own. I know yeah. it's bittersweet for you, as you mentioned, to say goodbye to it. What do you feel like your legacy is with Soldier Fortune and saying goodbye to that truck? Um. So, you know, when I got the call to drive Soldier Fortune, I was – 
so humbled. And, um, you know, to be able to drive Soldier Fortune and make Soldier Fortune kind of, you know, what I wanted to do whenever I first came into Monster Jam, you know, is to really take this Monster Jam truck and make it mine and make people see that um, I belong out here on the track and that I'm going to work really hard to get to where I want to be. And, um, you know, Soldier Fortune was definitely um, there whenever I was making that climb, you know, going from El Toro Loco. Um, we were successful, but we also had a lot of failures. And it was kind of a struggle for me being a rookie in the sport. And I had so much to learn yeah. and didn't even realize that I had that much to learn. But, um, you know, when I got into Soldier Fortune, I was so motivated and just learning so much. And by the time I'd gotten in Soldier Fortune, I was ready. I think I had um, a few more years on arenas and then I ended up in stadiums. So um, I drove Soldier Fortune in the stadium for the first time you know and I have a lot of memories of Soldier Fortune have a lot of wins in Soldier Fortune and successes and um you know being able to drive for the military whenever I'm at these events you know we have done things for the veterans in the past and those moments right there mean so much to me and um going into Sparkle Smash I will still absolutely be supporting the military right. but like I said to be able to drive and pilot for the men and women in uniform um it's been awesome I have so many coins that I've been given over the years and I keep all of those with me so you know it's been amazing to drive for our soldiers and um you know i look forward to the next chapter of my monster jam career and that's with sparkle smash you you have a, a lot of demographics to represent a lot of responsibility i, I think i don't know if, it, if it's any pressure but with soldier fortune it was military trying to make the military proud but not only that but you know females everywhere and then this you know women's evolution uh that, that we've coined in monster jam and now i think that expands a little bit with sparkle smash because yeah. you're you're talking about not only representing military as a veteran not only representing women but now you've got kids mm -hmm. worldwide that love this truck and this is going to be their favorite truck because they saw it at the toy store and they have it now does that add any added pressure to you to try to live up to some of these expectations? You know, the, the pressure comes from making a name for this truck and making this a six ton unicorn that right. is bold and beautiful, but also fierce at the same time. And, you know, I don't want to doubt myself, but sometimes I do, but I know that when I get out there on the track, we're going to be aggressive. We're going to be bold. Yeah. And, um, you know, I think all of the fans around the world are going to see that as well when it comes to soldier or sparkle smash. And, um, you know, I'm excited. Um, I think little boys, little girls, everyone alike is really going to jive with this truck. And I think they're going to find something about this truck that they like. And hopefully they like me as the driver of Sparkle yeah. Smash and doing what I know how to do in Sparkle Smash. I think self-doubt is okay. Self-doubt makes us humble and it also <laughs> makes the victories that much sweeter. Um and I, 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 I don't look at you as somebody that that has self doubt. You seem like this just confident woman, on the track, off the track. And I know earlier this year you struggled a little bit on the track. Um, what what were the reasonings behind that? It seemed like just mechanical damage left and right for you. Oh man. So yes, um, actually coming from our last few events last year, following me into this year, um, we were dealing with these gremlins and we didn't know what it was. The guys were changing any and everything that you can think out on that monster jam truck. And um, I had the best of the best working on that truck and they were scratching their heads. And we finally found uh, it to come to be a fuel issue. There was some junk getting in the fuel line and um, so there, there lied the issues, you know, so something that nobody was really expecting, but our crew did work very hard. Every weekend I was out at the track early running the truck, um, just trying to figure out why it was shutting off and they were hooking up to the truck and just trying to figure it out and play, working their magic. And, um, I think it was the second round in San Diego where we were actually able to come back yeah. and, you know, I, I was doubting myself so much at that point. Cause I'm out here watching all the guys out there, tear it up and have a good time. And I didn't really Really feel a part of the show the event and so whenever um, I got my chance you know I was so motivated and so pumped up to go out there and we actually had a great event coming back in San Diego so that was pretty awesome and it's been going up from there um, my crew chief has Soldier Fortune feeling really good right now so we're looking forward to the next few events that we have and you've always done well in Southern California a, a big chunk of your freestyle wins have come in Southern California I just want to point out that World Finals is in Southern California so <laughs> there's a place for you to do it it's there coming Absolutely. up you take over the show it's your fan question for Kayla Blood next on Inside Monster Jam, powered by Lucas Oil.
Welcome back to Inside Monster Jam, powered by Lucas Oil. I am joined this week by Sparkle Smash driver Caleb Blood as we talk about the debut of the newest truck in Monster Jam. It's time for your fan questions. Get involved in the conversation by joining me on Instagram at Scott Jordan MJSX. All right, Caleb, the questions came in. We got some good ones here. Brendan Job says, having only been three points off the event championship in Seattle last weekend, you have gotten back the consistency you're known for. And we talked about that a little bit. Now that you're contending again for event championships, what can fans expect to see from you as you continue to climb up the ladder? Well, we've been in a really good position for racing. So the weekend prior to this, I was able to get a buy run with a quick first round. And um, so we started off the event and got um, got past Chris Kohler and Monster Mutt. So that was pretty cool. And um, so we're going to keep on trying to progress in racing. I want a racing win. I yeah. want it so bad. And it's, you just have to be smart and take those turns just right. And so that's where that comes into play. But, um, you know, two-wheel skills, I'm right there knocking on the door sometimes. And, of course, Ryan comes out there and does his fancy yeah. stuff. You know how that goes. Yeah. But, um, you know, we're trying really hard to um, just perfect our skill in two-wheel. And um, I'm really trying hard to balance the truck. It was pretty cool last weekend. I got the truck up on two wheels. And, um, you know, I think the goal for us kind of get to 20 seconds because that, that's at the time that they're telling you to go ahead and put right. the truck down. So that was the first time I was able to get to 20 seconds. And uh, whenever Crawl Dad comes on the radio and is like, all right, put her down. I'm like, but I want to keep going. Like, I want to, I don't want to stop. So that was pretty cool. I want to keep progressing in two wheel and do some cool stuff. You know, I have tried, um, the maximum moonwalk or, uh, the maximum or not the backflip, but off of the backflip container. Right. Well, it's different names for every yes. truck, but we, we can call but it something. Yes. So right. I've tried that and I was successful at it, but we're still kind of working on that. So I'm excited to try that once again and maybe pull that move off in an event. And then, um, you know, freestyle is freestyle. Kind of never really know what's going to happen. You know, all I know is that I try and remain calm for the first minute because obviously you guys know 30 seconds, you're done. The minute you lose points. You lose a point now, yeah. So you got to be kind of smart. And, um, you know, I try to maintain that and, uh, we're, we're just going to have to fill our time and freestyle, get some big air and get that backflip in and uh, get all those push-ups out that I can before we get into Sparkle Smash. I still want to see some in Sparkle Smash. Yeah, we're going to have to figure that out. Uh, Kayla, thank you so much for joining us. It's been fun. I look forward to seeing you in Sparkle Smash. And uh, you folks can see Sparkle Smash LA SoFi Stadium May 18th, or you can go to East Rutherford, Kansas City, and Nashville this summer to watch Kayla Blood drive this bold, powerful Sparkle Smash truck. That is all the time we have. I'll see you right here next week on Inside Monster Jam, powered by Lucas Oil.